Celeste, at last. You're finally awake. I feel like I've been sleeping forever. For one year, actually. I thought you were out for good. A whole year? You've watched over me the whole time? Yes, and I'm just about out of energy. We're on a tiny deserted island. After the world crumbled, I awoke to find us here together with... a few strangers. The world... So it wasn't just a dream. Where are my friends? Where's Locke? I don't know. I only know we're here. Maybe we're the only people left alive. Since that day, the world's continued its slide into ruin. Animals and plants are dying. The few others who washed up here were with us, passed away of boredom and despair. My friends, they're probably all gone. Celeste, you're the closest thing to family that I have. We could just live out our lives here, peacefully. I suppose so, Sid. Or should I say Granddad? May I call you that? Cramps, eh? I'm overwhelmed. All of a sudden I have a granddaughter. I was trying to bed you. <coughs> My long lost granddad. <coughs> hey, are you hungry? I haven't eaten in three or so days, ever since I became ill. What would you like? Well, unless I ask for fish, I won't get anything. That's all there is here. I'll go catch some. You stay in bed. You're sick. Hi, everyone. You know who we are. You know what game we're playing. And we have a lot of fun on this show. On this, uh... On the show, on the channel, we have a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, there are times when I like to discuss, uh... Game design, because I feel very passionate about, you know, the business, and especially certain games. This fucking sequence is one of the most da horrible things that has ever existed in RPGs or Final Fantasy or even games in general. I hate this fucking sequence. We have to catch these goddamn fish, right? Uh -huh. And then we run back here, and then they're sad. And we wait and we give them a fish. Oh, yum, chomp, chomp. I can't bear this any longer. And then we run back here. And then we run down here, and then we have to catch more fish. And it always has to be a fast-moving fish. God forbid it's a slow-moving one, because that'll just make them sicker. And we run back up here, and we wait, and then we... Eh, oh, yum. Ugh, I can't bear this any longer. And then we run back to the south. And we have to do this for about ten goddamn minutes. Or until he dies, or until we succeed... Okay, fish. Fit fish. Fit God damn it. Even a slow one's better than none. And we are on an invisible time limit here. There's a reason I saved right before we started this bullshit. I hate this. This, like... It extends the gameplay for no reason. Because it's not like doing this actually gets you a reward. If you fail, Celeste tries to kill herself and fucks up. If you succeed, you... Oh god, he's about to die. I might have to reload. Um, if you succeed then you leave and you continue the game if you uh, it, it's so pointless okay all right his messages are getting better and then they have a dick move where his second to best message sounds like he's about to die and you can only catch one fish at a time by the way it doesn't matter how many fish you catch when you do this and feed him <laughs> i feel a little better anyway when you catch multiple fish, it only takes the best one out of your inventory. So, okay, okay, okay. Oh, there we go. So you have to go one at a time. This is delirious. Rudeness. I've been on this for five minutes. Yep, he hasn't gotten any better because that fish wasn't good. Okay, so we run back down here. How is this fun? 
How does this enhance the game? I could see doing it once, maybe twice, to sort of reinforce the point. How does doing this for five to ten solid goddamn minutes improve anything, make the world more immersive, or give you more understanding about the story and what's going on? Fishing. <laughs> There's not a reward for doing this. If you pass, eventually you can come back here and get yourself a magicite. If you fail, you can eventually come back here and get yourself the same goddamn magicite. There is no point. I'm just wasting all the fans' time by shouting it in the microphone while I'm doing this repeatedly. Are we having fun? Is this fun? Also, if you don't know how to do this, or rather you were ill-prepared, and you don't put the sprint shoes on her, you're pretty much fucked. Another dick move. Ah, oh, God, there's not even music. It's just the whistling of the wind and the waves. <laughs> this is your day. This is your life. These are your experiences. <sighs> it would have been easier for Celeste to just drag his sorry ass down to the beach and then, like... Granddad, I caught a fish. Did you even clean it? No, nope, we're just feeding them raw fish. We're not cooking them. We're not doing anything. Okay, fish. okay, okay. Fish. Okay. Come on. Come on, fast fit. Yeah, that, that, it. Got him. Got okay. your ass. Oh, God. <laughs> and it's on a time limit that you cannot see. Ah! Celeste, thank you for all you've done for me. Thank you for all you've done for me. Is that English? All right, at least we're making progress. His his messages get more positive as we go along. Stay in bed, damn it. Yeah, that's another thing. Celeste, no, okay, all right. Uh, do, do, do we? Oh, no fish. Okay, that means we have to go back in here where there's no fish and talk to him, which knocks him down a few points, and that respawns the fish, hopefully. Oh, good. One fish who's in the opposite corner of everything. Get over here, asshole. Do you want anything from the kitchen? Booze? Might need some. Okay. I, I do like how he was cock-blocked, I can though. go buy booze. I have an ID for it. I like Sid being cock-blocked at the beginning of that. He's like, we see? Heck, heck, we can... I feel a little better. He's lost progress because of how long that took me. Fast fish! Fast fish! But oh, yeah, yeah, he's like, we can spend the rest of our lives here together... And she's like, yeah. And he's all thinking, yes. Hot blonde under me all day. And then she's like, maybe I'll call you granddad. That <laughs> just hurts. It's Especially like an old guy trying to... to hit on a girl in a club. And, you know, he thinks he's getting somewhere because she's being all friendly. And then she whips out, you remind me of my dad. Ugh. There's the line. My dear, I feel I'm not going to be around much longer. Yeah, that's actually the second to best message. It's very dick movie. Delirious. Yeah. Rudeness. <clears throat> and there's no point. I don't feel guilty about Sid. He hasn't done anything to make me feel for him. So part of me is like, maybe I should just let him die because then it won't take as long. And there's no downside to doing so for the love of God. He's not even in the ending. Once you save him or let him die, he's done for the game. That's it. Okay, we're done. I feel much better, thanks to last. That only took ten minutes off my life. What's up? <sighs> Celeste, the project that, ha that has kept me going over the past year is down below. Go have a look at it. And it's so totally not a fleshlight that is made in your image. Oh, I actually That's control her. That's gross, granddad. <laughs> It's a raft. It's a raft. Granddad? Celeste, you must leave this place. You have to find your friends. I know, but I'll bring them all back to meet you. That lock fellow too, no doubt. What are you mad about? You're my granddad. Oh wait, is this one of those things where you're like mad that I'm dating a boy? No, Celeste. This is one of those things where I'm mad that you cock-blocked me for a thief. <laughs> and you can just hear in the distance, That's treasure hunter! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
Welcome to the second half of the game, everybody. This is the world of ruin. The world is fucked up, but we are making much faster progress than I thought we were when we started this whole shindag. And, uh, but Celeste is by herself. Th thankfully, she just happens to have all the gear, relics, and items that were left behind. I guess she crashed with the big-ass gearbox. She ass gear box. was the true thief in the end. She was. And apparently, if, uh, everyone else died, apparently that means- and Sid was hungry, apparently that means no one bothered to go through Celeste's purse to get all of this stuff. All right, Celeste, what do I give you? Oh, well, since you're by yourself, we'll do... Make that sprint shoes. Only for the sake of the fans. Yeah, let's speed this along after that fucking fish thing. Yeah, it's... Ugh. Um, Just ugh. Do you want anything from the kitchen? Because I'm, like, thirsty. I am... Well, I need a refill on my juice, but I'm good to go, uh, honestly. Let me just grab your glass then. Uh, okay. I'm gonna be getting some juice anyway. I might as well, well give you some juice too. Fair enough. I, I can't brain. All right, so we. <laughs> so also, I'm the moving first thing between we're the gonna do is head to Zen here. I'm sorry, Albrook. Kefka's up there. He's using the power of the statues. He's like a god. Yeah, we are, like, right next to the final dungeon of the game. Intentionally. Um, Help yourself for $7,000. Yeah. All right. We're going to gear up, but I don't think there's anything to gear. Anyone who opposes Kefka gets his, his or her town fried by the light of judgment. Everything changed on that day. Are you guys wearing underwear on your heads? You. The sparkle in your eye. You're the spitting image of a man who came through here recently. Hand hand. When the world was ripped apart, many long-sealed monsters were released. Funbaba, Doomgaze, and the Eight Dragons. We'll be fighting all ten of those bastards as we go along, too. Yay! I don't know if the ship works anymore, does it? Nope. Might be items I'm leaving behind, but fuck it. And seriously though, here. those pirate rogue dudes were wearing panties on their head, and they had like bikini strings that they tied in the back to make them look like bandanas. Yeah, why not? How can you make a GP in a world like this? On that day, debris floated from all over the world. Whoa, debris from all over the world floated eerily to the center of this landmass and formed that tower. And just Does to no one know how to patch a hole? Eh. Eh. And to show you the comparison, oh, I think back on how nice the world used to be. This was an actual scene if you came into this uh, city in the cafe. It's partying, everyone's happy, the showgirls are dancing, waitresses are frolicking. Ooh, and over on the right side, there's a girl hanging out with one of the soldiers. He's getting a lap dance later. And maybe then, something more, but not something more because she won't let him touch. And realize it'll never be the same again. Indeed, look at this. It's just empty. <laughs> it's nothing here. All right, there's one more person I want to talk to here. Yes. Lexer on the clock. Um... Is he here? Maybe he's not in here. Maybe he's in a different city. Oh, yeah, he's in a different city. Okay, never mind. Um, nope, he's right here. Okay. This guy is really important, but in a very subtle way. I finished the Emperor's portrait. It was a true representation of the Emperor, but he hated it. I ended up selling it to Auser, a rich man who lives in Jidor. So that painting of... Emperor Gestal is extremely important. I don't think anything was lost in translation there. I think the point was that he gave the Emperor the painting before the floating continent thing happened. Um. Yeah. So. But he hated it because man does not like to see himself as he is. I guess. Ah! I'm gonna go get some juice because I'm really friggin' thirsty. Go get some juice. Alright. So... 
the nice thing is the enemies on this little island are slightly weak. Uh, Squaresoft did a good job balancing enemy strength with what was going on in your party at the time. Um, like, it knows, they know that you're by yourself, so obviously the enemies are designed to not challenge you all that much. Otherwise, you'd be pretty damn screwed. And luckily, we are not screwed. We are Celeste, and we are strong. A friend of mine, uh, Zane, who once played this game, made a mistake with the game as well. Because Celeste is the star at this point, um, all of the characters on the roster normalized to her level, so basically everyone's level 28 now. And that can include characters going backwards in level. Uh, in one... When my friend played it, he built Terra up to, like, level 35 or 40 in the first half of the game, only to see her lose, like, 20 levels, which was just sad. But if every but if Celeste is built up high, everyone comes up to her level, which is pretty cool. So this is Kefka's Tower. It's... Even when I was a kid, I thought it looked pretty shitty. Like, you really don't know what this thing is. And the mode 7 doesn't really help. It's just this weird thing here. But that is a very tall, blocky tower. Ugh. But we will have to enter that later. So, this is the city of Tizen. And we are going to be entering the city of Tizen in tomorrow's episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, thanks for sticking with me through that rant. We'll see you tomorrow hey, for another one. I'm back just in time for the episode to close. Bye. Typical me.